Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beer. Today we're jumping back into Hell's Paradise. So today we're jumping back into Hell's Paradise Season 1, Episode 2, Screening and Choosing. Hmm. Let's get it going. Let's do this. Ibombe. It really like their animation map. That's crazy. Oh, telling a story. It's fucked up. Oh, my mic looks low. Hey! <coughs> oh, that came to a <laughs> Oh, shit. Here we go. At the, at the angle. Wow. You see? At the angle, you gotta get it. Jesus Christ. And still out. Mid story. Oh fuck. And he bowed. No. Wow. Bruh, y'all are different. As wild. Since day one, eh? Oh, oh shit. Here she goes. Wow, look at that. Bruh, what did you say? Screw you. Oh no, the spirit. Ooh. Wow. That's what that was. How do you practice beheading people? Right? <laughs> Is this the second one? Third one? Oh man. Oh no. Sagiri. Yaiba o mitemiro. Katana ni wa shinjitsu na utsu. Wow. That's crazy. That's wild. Poppy's gotta teach you the stroke. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> screening and choosing. What did she say? That's the guy's name. Okay. <laughs> they're all blind. Oh Look at their blindfolds. Like they're, they're practice. This is the wow. team they're assembling for the. Uh... Yeah, yeah, for the trip. Constable. Yo, look at that giant person in the back. Oh wow! Bruh. I just saw that. <laughs> This guy's laughing. Bruh, is that what you said out loud? For pleasure, bro. That's crazy. She still wanted to practice. It's a perfect guy to practice. That'd be a perfect guy to practice. <clears throat> this guy's yawning. <laughs> わたしらの世界じゃ超有名人だしね。噂より全然チビだし。ミスボらしいし。ああ、わあ。期待外れてごめん。確かに最初こそ警戒したけど。わあ。これより諸君らが向かう島について説明する。ごめん、ミスなら
あ、でも勝手な動きを見せれば、その場で打ち込みにしよう。ロディシュビアにアンウィルム。うん。あ、だけど、だけど、だけど、だけど、だけど、だけど、だけど、だけど、だけど、だけど、だけど、だけど、だ
Bruh. He did not lean back. This guy turned him into a pen system. Oh, oh my him god. too. Oh my god. Pen. <gasps> oh my god. Bruh. He's gonna be the only one left on the mission. Oh! Oh! Fuck! He's not pulling out pieces. Mm. He's ripping some out of you. What the hell did he just do? He hollows you out. That's why he's the hollow. Wow, okay. Your burdens weigh you down. His he embraces his. Wow. Who's left? Right? Okay, okay, right, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to see yeah, that. He was swinging that people, that person around. They really wow. see her. Wow. This guy's in some fire. I can tell already. Oh! Cannibal. The apostate. But, yo. He's sleeping. He's... I bet you a bunch of them might get killed in the island too, you know. We saw that they had the sun reflecting the world after going. What? Oh, a pedal. Wow. Is there? Lies. There is no danger. Bro. How many did they murk off? There was quite a few in that room. Few. Yeah. In that they lost that like 90%. Makeshift tent. They lost like 90% of their forces right there. There's 10 of them left now. Wow. This whole, okay, so so this basically this whole <laughs> this whole dude scenario here is is her, is the soul's burdening her soul. Gotcha. The ones that she killed, you know what I'm saying? I mean, mm. it the the visual depiction of it was just <laughs> mind boggling. But but yeah, but that's crazy. Like she she figured out that it's not about it's not about the vitriol, it's not about the anger. Because like the first place she went was to the anger. She went back to her holding the rock and ready to defend herself. And she's like, no, it's not about that. It's like. It's being ready to assume the responsibility of taking, taking somebody else's, somebody's life, life. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's crazy. Wow. Because her cuts were like I don't know if I don't know if it's if it if it was just the way I saw it or not, but like like the her father's cut, like the head would roll for a while, and then when it stopped, then after a while it would bleed. But everyone every time she cut the head off, as soon as it hit the floor, it would start bleeding. I don't know if there's a specific hmm. way to like I don't know if that was. If they were meant to show that, you know. Yeah. And then the last three, I noticed when she chopped them off, chop, chop, chop. None of them bled right when they hit the ground. You didn't. It's true. So I was like, it's Yo. true. Because that was crazy. Also, because they were, they were, they were just saying that, they were saying that his father, they were saying that um, her father, like when he cut off the storyteller's head, the he guy didn't know he was beheaded, and he finished his story. He was still telling the story. That's wild. That's wild. You know what I'm saying? Remember so, Carl Pilkington was wondering that. It's, oh my god! <laughs> when somebody's so beheaded, if they still can talk for a while. So ridiculous. So like now you have him now, he, and the thing is, so like we already seen how dangerous this guy is, right? Like he already fought her with a sword to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? Defended himself mm -hmm. adequately. Then we saw him use the ninjutsu to dust everybody in the fucking dojo. Mm. And then this episode, with his hands bound and no ninjutsu, he just. He man, like that was crazy. He put it out. El he elbowed one guy, and like his whole fucking half of his face was gone. Bro. He went into this guy's chest, and all we saw was the blood spurting out. I thought the guy was gonna pull out his heart. Kicked off another. Like this guy went crazy. This guy went crazy. Man. So now you have the Yamada clan. 
mm. the, the, the the top tier assassins. Mm. We had you with one stroke. Mm. You have him, the shinobi, and you have the gang of others going to fight in hell's paradise. You know what I'm saying? To go find this elixir. And the thing is, like, you've seen the way that the other qualified assa- uh, not assassins, but I don't know who the uh, oh, no the people who, who they sent the first time. The, the they sent the oh was it the they didn't send the shinobis they sent the I can't remember who they sent it's true they could be shinobis too well I mean it wasn't the Yamada clan they sent but anyway yeah the I think I I believe it was other shinobis that they sent and then they came back and it's not like they came back dismembered they this guy came back alive, alive. and started sprouting fucking flowers and things out of his eyes and he's still alive we heard him giggling. Mm. Mm. Like that's a different, like that's a different level of. He's the like, only one that made it made it back. There's so many missing still. There's and that's a different level of dismemberment for it for it to be for somebody of of that ilk to be poison. You don't even know. You like it's like it wasn't where they poisoned. It wasn't like they it wasn't like they were met with too much violence. It wasn't like they were met with overwhelming army. It wasn't like they were met with like they don't even know. Like how do you get a human being to start flowering from the inside out? Like, that sounds like somebody changed your genetic makeup. Yep. And then when you're going to a place where you can find the elixir of life, what the hell else is there? You exactly. know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. In the, garden where, in the garden where fruits grow, there's also a snake in the grass, right? Exactly. So you, like, there's what the There's poison ivy. Fuck? There's all that other crap that you just don't know about. And they showed us the level of power they have on one side between the, between the shinobi, the, the criminals, and, the, and their... Um, Everybody has a assistant, mm-hmm. and the now yeah. exactly the what I call them samurais. Okay, so <laughs> you, you you see the power you see the power level that they have already, mm. and now we now we get to see the opponent. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I cannot wait to see that giant guy fight, bro. This man was sleeping the whole time. While while these guys were massaging him, basically yeah. with axes and spears and. That, 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 the guy didn't even take off his mask to see who what was, was coming going from on. Where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bruh. Anyway, <sighs> gotta get into the next one. Yeah. So, thank y'all for joining us today for this episode of Hell's Paradise. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought of the episode down in the comments and be sure to go over our, and be sure to go over to our Patreon to check out our full length reaction or just to support our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Drake for Beauty and the Beer. We're signing off into the next one. Peace. Peace.